The Fishing News is brought to you by Shoreline Insurance Agency. Win the incredible Steigercraft, Evinrood, Lorance Grand Prize Boat Package, and more in the Fisherman's 2018 Dream Boat Fishing Challenge. Get the details at thefisherman.com. We're getting down to the end of the season, but there is still good fishing to be had. I was hoping to get a weather report for this weekend from News 12 meteorologist Rich Von Olin, but he's been too busy fishing. More from him later in the reports. Saturday and Sunday are looking to be real nice with a light northwest wind, but it will be cold, however, with temps only reaching the mid-30s. The December issue of the Fisherman Magazine is out now. Tom Melton has a great article on freshwater fishing to help you avoid cabin fever. Captain Steve Toombs has a great read on the codfish winter fishery. These are just a few of the great articles in the December issue of the Fisherman Magazine. Now let's get to the reports. On the East End, the big news in Montauk were the catches of haddock made last Friday and Saturday before the winds kicked in by the open boat Fin Chaser 2 and the charter boat Viking 5 Star. Captain Keith Williams of the Fin Chaser said what absolutely stole the show was the incredible number of haddock decked on Friday's trip, including many double headers. Captain Stephen Forsberg Jr. on the Viking 5 Star labeled the haddock fishing on Saturday's trip incredible. His grandfather, Captain Paul Forsberg, noted that the last time this amount of haddock was landed and brought into Montauk was during the 1950s. Mixed bag action at Block Island for sea bass, cod, scup, ling, and assorted other species remained solid. Scott Leonard of Top Gun Charters is back in Montauk and fishing and getting nice numbers of tog, but no monsters. News 12 meteorologist Rich Von Olin was on the Hampton Lady and did a number on the sea bass, and there were also haddock and pollock in the mix. Along the South Shore and West End, think about hitching a ride on one of the long-range wreck trips where jumbo sea bass, cod, pollock, ling, white hake, and scup are all possibilities. Lots of small bass were targeted and jigged on Friday and Saturday prior to all the wind, but few boats are still targeting them now because many of the private boats have been hauled out for the winter. Captain Matt Fitz of Neptune Charters Hit the wrecks off of Mauritius last week and scored with some nice sea bass. Now let's check in with Joey Leggio from Oceanside. Thank you, Tim. I'm actually uh, headed out right now to do probably one of my final talk trips. Uh, it's getting real cold out there. But anyway, let's make to go to the reports, make this a quick one. Uh, headed out both Friday and Saturday. Uh, Friday, I stayed local, took out Sean and his buddies. We had probably 80 to 100 blackfish, only six keeper size, though. Uh, main bait actually was the green crabs was... Uh, go better over the white crabs. The following day, Saturday, I went out with Steve, took him down to some wrecks off of Jersey. Uh, we did much better. The quality of the fish was a lot uh, better too. We had uh, the biggest one was just over nine, 9.1 pounds. And then we had uh, a bunch of other keepers. I believe we had 20 keepers that day. <clears throat> Again, a lot of fish that are right there, you know, 16 inch fish for your keeper size, not those real jumbos. But uh, we had a few fewer nicer fish on that one. And that was fishing off Jersey, and that was a mixed bait. We were using both white and greens on that one, and they were both producing very well. Jigs, snafus, and just a straight single hook all worked great for that. Uh, that's basically it for my reports. Um, if I don't talk to you next week, hope you guys have a great holiday. You know, Christmas, Happy Hanukkah. And uh, that's basically it, Tim. Talk to you soon. Thank you. Another report from Rich Von Olin. He fished off of Sandy Hook last week, last Friday, in fact, and limited out on blackfish, but no jumbos, he reported. Yesterday, he also took one last trip on his boat and reported back it was pretty quiet with water temps only in the mid-40s. Now let's check in all the way from Staten Island with Mike Sentry. Well, for this week, not much to report except for New Jersey, the uh, south end of uh, Asbury Park, Belmar, and Seagirt. Guys have been producing some small schooly stripers on the surf and on the wash using deadly dicks, the one ounce, the two ounce deadly dicks, small jigs, and also using a teaser on top. That helps out also. As far as big striped bass, well, you could say they're finally gone. There's no peanut bunker around. There's no sand eels around. So if you want to catch them, you could head down south, Maryland, Delaware, Chesapeake Bay, that area. If you're inclined to uh, catch a nice sized cow at this time of year. Uh, well, with that said, blackfish is on my mind. I'll be going out tomorrow, Thursday, for blackfish. So I'll let you know how it goes for next week's report. Well, gotta love the holidays. Well, adios. 
We also heard the main body of bass was beyond the three mile limit on Friday and Saturday, which is off limits for targeting stripers. Now let's check in with Mark McGowan of Cow Harbor Bait and Tackle in Northport. Hey, thanks, Tim. Up here on the Eaton's Neck uh, Huntington area, it's really been primarily uh, herring fishing, getting those uh, fillets ready to pickle for the holiday seasons. Um, as far as squid going, uh, it's been on and off. Nothing really hot to trot to talk about. Um, the beach bite up here is really over as well as uh, the boats. A lot of the boats have been pulled out and um, so primarily you're not seeing much of uh, fishing going on. We've been staying busy here at the shop making a lot of jigs preparing for uh, next season and uh, doing our service work all the time. A lot of rod and reel uh, service and repairs coming in so we stay open all year and um, so we get a lot of people coming in. If you have any questions about where to go for the herring, always feel free to call the shop, 631-239-1631. Do our best to answer your questions. And if you have any service work that needs uh, repair or yearly maintenance, uh, feel free to drop it off. We've got one of the best deals on the island at $15 a reel. So I uh, wish everyone a happy holidays and uh, be healthy. Thanks, Tim. And back to you. Also, Mike at East Coast Bait and Tackle and Flushing said that a few quality bass are still falling to bunker and live eels near the Throgs Neck Bridge. Now let's check in with senior editor, Fred Galifaro. Hey, thanks, Tim. And uh, season's really winding down now. You know, a lot less effort on the beaches, but there are still small stripers uh, along the South Shore and up in the Sound. Uh, herring have also showed up. They're in most of the North Shore harbors, places like Mount Sinai, Northport, Huntington. Cold Spring Harbor, and I also got reports today from uh, Sheepshead Bay, actually in the boat base in the Sheepshead Bay, um, and most likely they're also on Canarsie Pier. Um, so, you know, there is some life, there are some things to do out there. Um, Jose over at Salt Waters in West Islip, he said uh, there are a decent number of small bass caught on Monday over at Robert Moses and Demo. Uh, Matt over at J&J, &J, he had a guy come in and say he caught a couple of small bass uh, at either Finns or Smith Point. And um, Vinny over at Bernie's in Sheepshead Bay uh, said they're still catching small stripers along the beach there in a breezy point. So there are still fish around. If you can stand the cold, it's going to be pretty chilly this weekend. Uh, but there are fish around. And, uh, you know, a lot of guys are turned off by the, the numbers of small fish. But I tell you, you can have a lot of fun with those fish. Uh, I've got a little bit of a video here that uh, we're going to show and just show you how much fun you can have with these small fish and if you like it uh, you can just uh, uh, link to the uh, full video and, uh, and check it out. The full video runs uh, probably about five minutes maybe a little more and uh, a lot of fun get you motivated to get out and catch a few more bass before the season shuts down. Till next week Fred Golifaro here for thefisherman.com. Now for something I'm new we're trying out. Here. This video was sent in by Captain Al Lorenzetti of Babylon who is fishing Big Pine Key with Captain Dave Zarello. They've been uh -huh. getting into some big uh -huh. barracuda action in the back country of wow. the Florida Keys. If you have boy. some destination oh, footage yeah. or photos, send it over Look and we'll try to get it in the reports over the winter. He is like a submarine. Wow. <laughs> Whoa, what a mouthful. Now, upcoming events, January 20th, it's the Surfcasters Journal Striper Day at Ward Melville High School. And January 23rd through the 27th is the New York National Boat Show at the Jacob Javits Center in New York City. Then mark your calendar for Sunday, February 17th, and yes, Monday, February 18th. It's a holiday. All pro charters will be back bigger than ever with two full days. If you'd like to be part of our weekly video fishing forecasts, we're looking for social media savvy anglers for hyperlocal reporting from around the New York metro and Long Island area. So if you're a captain, tackle shop, or just an avid angler, contact me at libayrat at gmail.com. For links and more information, be sure to check out this video's description on YouTube. Remember, like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and be part of the Fisherman Magazine. And don't forget about the Dreamboat Contest. So catch him up. This is Tim C. Smith for thefisherman.com.